Welcome back. Let's take a look at our quiz problem from last time, and then we'll get started playing some games soon. So each time we make big mistakes, we end up getting quiz problems the next time, at least if the opponent analyzed the games. At least I assume that's how it works. So here, last time I played, I had a decision between do I drop a bishop forking this rook and this gold, and attacking this pawn beyond? Or do I have a better move somewhere, anywhere, like 7-7 seven, seven bishop? The answer here is that while this bishop drop looks scary, it also gets trapped by rook 2-2. Two, two. Although, uh, maybe rook 2-2 two, is not so great, because we could push the pawn to 3-3, three, three, but then our own rook hangs after they start attacking, and you know, it's... Not super clear. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Bishop drop, bishop drop is kind of messy. Uh, but if we take the diagonal, there's no way the opponent can oppose this diagonal as far as I'm aware. I think this is right. Plus, I played the bishop drop on 4-1. So here, yeah. It is what it is. Um, what was so wrong with this, though? I did some brief post-game analysis of my own with the help of Geeko. I don't really understand. Like, why don't we just take this pawn here? I guess they have a bishop drop here. And that wins a piece and continues attacking. So, yeah, we exchange this bishop and drop the gold here. Actually, no, we moved this gold here. I can't see the highlight of the previous square. I guess they don't highlight the previous one, but... Yeah, this camp immediately comes under attack after this bishop sacrifice, and there is no attack against this king. So, I played an aggressive move last time. I lucked out. But let's not push our luck today. Let's calm down. Let's play some slower games. 10 minute rather than 10 second per move. And we'll see how it goes. So, this will be good fun, eh? Good luck. Alright, we got an instant mover on our hands. That's cool, I guess. Alright, I cover my bishop's head which blocks the diagonal, which is modestly unfortunate. Um, well, I'm feeling crazy today. Let's try this. Let's mesh all the openings together in one big pot. Confuse myself uh, as much as possible, I guess. All right, my king is safe-ish. Um... Well, let's make it safer. Why not, right? Oh, wow. They're aiming for this shape. They've hard committed to this shape. Why would they do that? Alright. What do they do against this? Okay, so they put the pawn back. I see. Interesting. That's a decision. What's going to defend this pawn? If you're going to play this attack, it helps to get all the moves correct. Um, yep, so okay, it's defended now. Um, okay, what's going to defend it a second time? Okay, okay. They were like, alright, wise guy, we've had enough of this. Let's, let's just get out with the main event. Fair enough. Um... See, I always panic around this moment. Um, yeah, let's try this. My rooks run away, my bishop is about to run away. I could take a silver. It's not a loss. It's not a total loss. Plus I've got the pawn in hand. 
That's kind of nice. Um, if I take here... Yeah, I think this... Well, no, they chase my bishop and the silver escapes. Let's remove the silver. Alright, they have a pawn and an attack. And the attack is much scarier than the pawn. Alright, let's see what we can do about this attack. A bit irregular, I admit. Um, Alright, they exchanged the rook for two generals. Not a bad trade. Well, except that the rook is actually kind of useful here, so... Huh. Hmm, 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 indeed. What's my bishop doing? What a mess. Why have I done this? I always do this. It's fun, we say. But how fun is it? <laughs> Nana Fun. Okay, if I drop the rook here, it'll drop. I have to take here, basically, because my rook can't escape. They're gold, and silver chase it down. It has no escape. Um, if I move my rook to the open file here, they probably try to defend against it. They lose some time. If I try to break down the center file by force... We exchange silvers, they get a silver in hand, and then my rook has to go somewhere else. It doesn't have somewhere else good to go. Okay, we search for some kind of weird harmony among our pieces and allow a gold drop right in the middle of the board because we weren't looking for it. But, if they drop the gold here, it can only take one piece at a time, and I can drop a rook here. Alright. I see, so this is a really heavy gold drop. Um, maybe it's fine for them. Hmm. I surely I want to go up the board, right? I guess they could drop a silver here to continue this attack. But it's a very heavy attack, and their king is still in the center, and I can drop a rook here. <laughs> All right, let's activate my rook. Imagine that this bishop, which sought activity by, not by op this open diagonal, but by going this way, sought to find some activity there, instead finds itself in encircled. Um, Go Fun.
I question where we're at and where we're going. Oh, I can support my general, can't I? Let's do that. Let's just keep aiming at the king. Thankfully, I have some generals around my own king. This could get pretty awkward. Um... Hmm. If I move the silver up, It takes them a lot of time to attack. If I move the gold up, it takes just as much time for them to attack. They don't have a diagonal piece to attack with. Although this is a diagonal piece right there. Um, yeah, silver up would have been safer. Uh, it doesn't matter in this case, however. Thanks for the game. Let's play another. Good luck. Hmm. All right, all right. Fine. I should have taken this. I'm too curious. Always pushing the envelope to see, well, what will they do next? What will they do next? And eventually that, that curiosity... Um, Lends itself to danger. If you just genuinely get a position because you want to see what happens and you aren't super invested in the outcome, you can uh, get some pretty suspect positions. Um, Alright, let's push here. That's a fun move. Hmm. Oh, I just let them promote a bishop. Well, no, they can't drop it here. But if they do drop here, then eventually it's going to escape this way. All right, we're going to improvise a castle.
the legendary push all of your pawns castle. It has no weaknesses except that which it leaves behind. Yeah, so there's like everything's a weakness here. Maybe I should be alarmed by this knight advance idea. I don't know. It's a bit much to figure out. Interesting idea. I assume they're going to put some peace on this square. Why else would they do that? Um... Hmm. This is complex, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Nana I don't understand. Oh, I kind of get it now. Hmm. How many ways is this flawed? <sighs> okay, we'll take the pawn. Oh, right. This move. Um... This which I'd considered and forgotten and considered and forgotten and ultimately forgot. But now we're considering it again. Okay. Well... Let's try this. This isn't great. This is not great at all. Um, So basically, yeah, this promotes. I don't seem to have a way to kick this silver. Silver, yeah, that's kind of a mess. Um, let's try this. 
So this is aligned with their king, so if they take it, I can drop a bishop to pin the dragon. Um, I guess the square is available. Mm. But yeah, I thought we'd end up here. And we did. Um, Go for me. Single click, single click. There we go. Don't know why I twice missed that with my mouse, but sure. Um, yeah, so I guess this is potentially a target. Um, Yeah, they could target my knight. Sure. Oh, okay, this seems to solve several problems at once. So this can be answered by that. And they cannot take this, nor can they take that. Um, I forgot they have, like, a bishop and a silver and three pawns, apparently, in hand. So... Those should be able to do some damage to me somehow. Um, I don't see how just yet, but I'm scared. I'm scared. But we'll try to find efficient moves. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, look, they're threatening to drop right in front of my rook. That's powerful. Um, it's not decisive, though. Hmm. Alright, I call your bluff. So I'm threatening to take... Like, this is like checkers here. If I take the silver, they take back. I take this silver, they take my silver. Okay, that's kind of not great. Um, I'll just take this one. You get my rook. I get another bishop. And then if you stop to take my knight, I take the silver. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably. I don't know. Um. Because otherwise your bishop's promoting here. Could drop a bishop here. They drop something to block it. I guess they drop a knight to block my bishop. Yeah, that's not great. So just take another silver. They're going to drop a rook somewhere. Or not. They wanted a knight for some reason. Okay. Something. All of my pieces attack diagonally. Hmm. Two minutes and thirty seconds. This looks interesting. I forgot that a silver protects a lance. This suddenly does not look quite as interesting. Mm 
2分I guess my dragon's surrounded. So I shouldn't have been so quick to jump on this bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, I messed up. Oh boy. That's gonna be rough. My dragon has no escape here. And I could not find a checkmate. But maybe there was one. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe he shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's a free night. Thanks for the game. Well played. We did choose to play a 10 minute game. That's my fault. Let's play one more. Good luck. Fuck is this? What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, I'm not moving my center pawn, so therefore I'm doing this. Um. Okay. Okay, sure. Let's see it. Let's see the many ways in which I failed somehow. Show me the proof that your position's actually playable here. All right, that gives me something to consider. Um, I 
I attack this point. If your silver defends this, I just take this knight. And if the silver recap, well, actually, if the silver here would allow you to recapture this way, because I didn't think that through correctly. I'm so impressed by my move that but it's no good. Um, okay, I could drop a pawn here. I could drop a pawn there. Where's my decisive breakthrough? Oh, here. It's right there. Bishop drops, silver drop. Takes, takes, takes. Yeah, that's not bad. It's scary, but not terrible. Could we do better? Um... Hmm. Oh wait, if I drop there, they'd have to defend this promotion and that promotion. Yeah, so my earlier idea of this thing looks actually really nice. So they either um, prevent me from checkmating them, or they prevent me from taking a lance in the night. Yeah, so they're going to focus on the lance in the night. And then I just put no, it right over here. And I can take the knight next. So either that's some kind of a tactical shot, or um I don't know. Alright. I guess they're eager to have something in hand for some reason. Hmm. Takes, gold takes, of course. Oh, they want to defend this point again. That's uh, interesting. Alright, this actually weakens their castle for them to, to attack like that. Because uh, the silver, if it moves, cannot defend this point. And the gold, if it moves, is, like, not next to the king. Um, although it does keep control of the square. Um, Alright, I attack your rook. I threaten a knight drop here. Hmm. There seem to be some problems. But yeah, it's kind of crazy how if you just play extremely aggressively, you can get rewarded at amateur levels pretty heavily just for showing a lot of aggression. Um, sometimes you do have to sit for a minute or five and find the right move, but like often it pays off immensely. So it's just funny how extremely well that pays. Um, okay, I could attack the dragon with my gold general. That seems like a waste of time. But where's the dragon going to move, or the rook going to move next? Hmm. Yeah, let's try this. It looks crazy, but that's not stopped me in the past. Um, so I'm going to attack the rook again, and again, and again. I could have just taken this. It's mostly the same, except this way the gold is protected. Uh, the other way, I have a lance in hand, and the lance could have been nice. Because I could drop a lance here and then take this out. So, yeah. That's a missed opportunity there. Although, 
They've sweetened the deal a bit now. So now if I drop a lance here, I win a rook. So, all right. They don't want me winning a rook. Go I'm going to win the rook anyway. I thought they might. Mm -hmm. If I take there... My attack is not... Oh, well, I have a nice attack, but it's not overwhelming. It's such a nice attack, though. Let's do it. How do we say no to such a nice attack? You really can't. Alright. See how the rook escapes. Boo-hoo. Alright. So fine, the rook escapes, but uh, my horse gets back into the game after I take this here. It's now dawning on me just what a bad move this gold drop was. It looked fun. Uh, I was too curious. But yeah, this gold's doing nothing. It's looking pretty. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, screw it. That was a nice horse while it lasted. Um, I think they have to move the rook, though. But if they move the rook, I get to take this, so they can't. They might have to defend... Oh, they don't have a gold to defend with, either. They have sulfurs and a bishop and a knight and a lance, but they don't have a gold. So, if a silver defends this, and if I take it... Um, they can't take back this way. They'd have to take my horse instead. <laughs> this looks fun. All right. Well, we seem to have some pieces near their king. The line main way. I see. Um, let's pin the silver. Oh, wait. Crap. I'm giving up my knight because I'm not paying attention. But maybe this is still the best move. Um... Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Take, king takes, is this mate? I'm trying to figure it out, honestly. Like, what the hell? Why is it so difficult to checkmate in this game? Um, check, king takes, no, wait, oh, this knight, okay, um, I mean, yeah, I could move this gold up, but that's, hmm, what checkmate, where's my checkmate? Oh, silver or gold. Okay. Sorry, I don't get positions like this all the time. Thanks for the game. Alright. That was an interesting running king for a bit.
Um, so yeah, um, aim for the king. Don't forget to attack, and if you see your opponent attacking, uh, uh, be prepared to defend, I guess. Um, I don't know. There's something in these games to be learned, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, because, yeah, the king is the goal. You want to checkmate the opposing king. We also don't want to get checkmated, so I'm saying all the obvious things here, but... Um, yeah, somehow I played better than my opponents today. Or played, at least won the games. Maybe through luck, I don't know. Anyway, hope we've enjoyed these. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.